Businesses in the CBD could be taxed more to help fund a desperately needed cross-river rail system. It's just one of the options the state government is considering to get the $5 billion project off the ground. Tegan George reports. Most politicians want cross-river rail, it's just no one's prepared to pay for it. We're looking at an innovative way of delivering this project. That innovative way, value capture, which involves taxing businesses which will benefit from the $5 billion project. Areas around uh, the particular area of the infrastructure project um, get to pay a contribution uh, because uh, they get value uplift. With Queensland a key battleground in the looming federal election, industry wants the state to use it to its advantage. And we only need to look at the Toowoomba Second Range crossing to see the benefits from pork barrelling from federal elections. Cross River Rail is Infrastructure Australia's number one priority for Queensland. And that's why it's important that we have more than simply pie-in-the-sky announcements. We actually have a detailed business case. Both the federal government and opposition support the project, but with no finalised business case, there's no pressure to make any solid commitments. But they needed to look ahead and strategically position themselves to take advantage of the federal election. The acting Premier is adamant all three levels of government must chip in, but Lord Mayor Graham Quirk has again flatly ruled it out and is highly unlikely to change his mind. Uh, no, I've made that very clear. But the Transport Minister isn't throwing in the towel just yet. That's a conversation, as the Lord Mayor says, that we need to continue to have. Uh, look, we don't fund rail, that's the bottom line, but we want to uh, have them at the table and be part of the conversation. Let the games begin. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.